Hello, my name is Aaron, and welcome back to the Retro Gaming Collective. All right, folks, so today is the day. I'm getting ready to go pick up my friend Tom, um, and we're going to head up to Complete and Box um, up in Pennsylvania. Um, again, I'm in Delaware, so it's a little bit of a drive for us to get where we're going, maybe about an hour or so, um, but I'm really excited. This store is supposed to be really cool. He's actually been there before. I have not, um, but I have been saving up like crazy to go a little bit nuts today, um, so I'm expecting to spend a little bit of cash. I actually also have a big duffel here, if you can see. Sorry. If you can see, I got a full duffel here full of games that I'm looking to trade in. Um, they're things that I can't sell because they're like either three, four bucks, doubles, things I don't want. So I, I if you look over here um, at the Wii section, it's hard to do this looking at my camera or my phone here. But I emptied out a lot of the Wii games. I emptied out some of my PlayStation 2 games, things that I don't want, um, just to make room. This is the first time I've ever done that, to make room for... Um, things that I actually do want because this is a small room. I'm running out of space. Um, but I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what we, we are going to find. Tom and I are um, hopefully going to check out some thrift stores. We found some interesting ones up there. And then we're going to grab lunch um, at a brewery. So I will check in in a little bit. All right, guys, this is our first stop on the way up to Complete in Box. This is a Goodwill that we haven't been to before, um, and they did not have a whole lot. A couple little things, but nothing really worthwhile, as you can tell. All right, so here we are. This is my buddy Tom. We just got up here to Complete in Box, um, and we are going to go hunting to see what we can find. Checking in a few. So once we were done, Tom and I stopped over at Black Forest Brewery for beer and lunch, and then we hit Uncle Funky's. Um, this guy apparently found a whole bunch of stuff, so good for him. Um, we were not so lucky. Uh, I found this little box of games. Um, I poked through it. There was nothing too crazy in there. Um, nothing that was calling my name, and they had no price listed, so I didn't even bother asking about anything. I just kind of poked through and moved along. And then we found Abundant Treasures here. I didn't really find anything, but Tom found this really cool Star Wars VHS set, the um, special, or the, not special edition, the original stuff. And I did see that uh, Tony Hawk Underground too, but it wasn't complete and I bought so much stuff, I didn't need it. Um, so this is Game Z and we stopped here as well. This was like a two foot walk um, from those thrift stores. Um, and it's just an arcade. So Tom and I paid $10 for an hour. And it was awesome. So we got to play some Street Fighter, tons of games in here. I mean, the, the footage that I got didn't really even give it justice. Um, there's a whole wall of pinball machines and we got to try a whole bunch of them. It was really, really cool. All right, guys. So here we are back in the game room. What a great day we had. Um, didn't find anything at any of the thrift stores, but I found all this stuff. My buddy Tom got a Sega Genesis Mark II. And he got uh, two, four games with it, actually, and one uh, extra controller. So he got Bubsy 2, he got Sonic 2, he got a Captain America game, I don't remember which, and uh, I want to say Lion King. Um, so pretty good, like, start to a Genesis collection for him. Um, excited for him to, to mess around with that stuff. Um, and then we also have this guy over here, so please ignore the blanket. Um, you can tell that he has ruined my ottoman here, um, but he doesn't care. So <laughs> he's just going to lay there and do nothing. All right, great. So this is my setup here. This is what I came home with. Um, I was able to empty my duffel bag here. I actually got this t-shirt too. Um, let's open that up. Pretty cool shirt. Nice to add to the collection, but I was able to empty that minus just a couple of things here. Um, so I got $45 in trading credit, which is about what I expected. It was all bottom of the barrel stuff like Cabela's games and things like that. Um, 
nothing that was actually worth anything, but um, stuff that I didn't really care to have in my collection. So let's dive in here and see what we got. We'll start with, I got Stellar Fire here, um, and it is complete. It's so hard to open these with just one hand. Um, so pretend that I did, because I just can't do it. I'm trying so hard. Yeah, not happening. Um, so we got that. That's really cool. Um, I never see Sega CD stuff anywhere. Um, so uh, just really cool to be able to add a new Sega CD to my collection. And if you look over here, I'm going to see if I can zoom in. That's my tiny little Sega CD collection right there. Not a whole ton, um, but exciting to add new stuff. Um, there we go. Okay, reconnected here. So let's slide that out of the way. This was really cool too. This is the Halo 3 Steelbook. I got this for $5. Um, the game is not in here, but of course I already have it because I played the crap out of it. Um, but I love Steelbooks. This one's not in amazing shape, but really cool to get to add this one in. Um, so yeah, definitely a cool pickup. Um, and then I got, let's see, Sarge's Hero, or Sarge's Heroes 2 for the N64. I loved the first game. Um, it was awesome. Um, never played this one, but I don't think it has as good of ratings. Uh, but I loved the green cart, and I had to pick it up um, to add to my N64 collection. Um, looks like he is paying a little bit more attention to what's going on around him, which is great. <laughs> um, and I'll save the uh, SNES stuff. And I got a bunch of filler titles here. I did not get anything like crazy for the NES, um, but just like games that I thought looked interesting. So we got Deadly Towers here, um, and I know little to nothing about these games. The um, thing about the NES is that I did not grow up playing the NES, um, so I just know very little about it, um, and I'm constantly discovering new games um, that I've just never heard of. This being, actually this entire stack being games that I've never heard of. So we got Deadly Towers, we got Dash Galaxy and the Alien Asylum. Um, got a little something going on with the label here, but no big deal. Um, we got Infiltrator. Some of these cards, like, they they're a little dirty. Um, but I can easily clean them up. That is no big deal to me. And we got Magmax. That's kind of a cool-looking futuristic 80s-style label. I love it. And I love this stuff, like medieval swords and knights and all that. Demon sword, release the power. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, I love adding things like this, like weird NES titles to my collection. Then we got Destination Earth Star, which is also really cool. This reminds me of, I want to say, um, like Defender or something. For, I don't I think it's Defender from the Atari that I'm thinking of. Um... But it just looks really cool. And then final game for the NES is Dragon Spirit. This is really cool. Um, just reminds me of like, uh, like Birdman, like that style uh, cartoon. Um, really interesting. And then these are probably my favorite two editions. Like you guys know that I love Kirby um, if you've watched my other videos. So adding another Kirby game to my collection is a really, really cool. I love that. And then I also was able to get this one, which I've wanted for a while, Primal Rage. Um, now, with my trades, um, I got, like I said, $45. And everything that I I got here, including like the, the cases here, the um, Sega CD game, uh, I ended up paying about $81 out of pocket. So not horrible. Um, and I, like I said, I went up there intending on spending much more than I did. So I walked away with a pretty full pocket um, ready to keep hunting for more. Um, I've actually been thinking about picking up another eBay lot, um, NES stuff, things like that, or maybe some SNES stuff, because this is really what I want to focus on collecting right now. Again, I just don't find this stuff out in the wild. Um, and he's asleep now. Um, so the way that I do it is I sell Wii stuff, things that I find in Goodwill so that I can fund the purchase of things like this. Um, to pay full price. And I know again that I could like figure it out and find this stuff out in the wild if I really looked, um, but I just don't have the time for that. Um, 
all in all, I will say that the prices at Complete Unbox were a little higher than eBay prices. But for me, um, going in there with a big bag of trades that I paid next to nothing for, um, it all ended up evening out for me. Um, and again, like something like this for $5 is a really good deal. The rest of the stuff, um, not really super incredible deals. Um, I think the, the worst deal that I got was this one. Uh, Primal Rage was 17 bucks, and I think this is like a $10 game. Um, but again, it all evened out for me. Um, but yeah, if you are in the area, they have a huge selection. It's a great spot to check out. Um, and if you guys have any questions for me about this week's pickup or um, the store or anything like that or Gamesium, um, feel free to reach out here on uh, YouTube or on Instagram at the Retro Gaming Collective. You can like and subscribe. Um, but again, I really appreciate you guys um, checking out my video. Because um, again, I know there are tons of other YouTubers that you could choose to watch, but you guys chose me and I super appreciate that. Um, so until next time, um, happy hunting.